In lithium-ion batteries, there are four secret weapons, positive, negative, diaphragm, and electrolyte. The electrolyte is like the blood of the battery. It transfers energy between the positive and negative poles, but it's also a bomb, volatile and permeable in high temperature environment. It may vaporize instantly and increase in size, resulting in safety risks. If you add hormones to the blood in lithium ion batteries, that's a certain amount of additives and auxiliaries, how will that change? In normal and high temperature environments, what kind of difference does lithium ion battery cycle, capacity retention, safety and stability make? Let's find out through an experiment. These are two basic electrolytes. Leave one copy as blank. Add an appropriate amount of LA2210 as an experimental sample. If you look carefully, you will find that the appearance of the experimental sample after adding additives is no different from that of the blank sample. Next, these two electrolytes are used to make NCM high nickel ternary batteries. First of all, we simulate the charging and discharging process of lithium-ion batteries at room temperature, at 1C charge and discharge ratio, perform 200 cycles of experiments. In the first 100 cycles, there was no obvious capacity attenuation. In the last 100 cycles, the experimental sample increased with the number of charge and discharge. Not only the discharge capacity is higher than the blank sample, and the decay rate decreases. Under the condition of 55 degrees Celsius high temperature and 1C charge and discharge ratio after 200 charge and discharge, blank sample battery capacity dropped by 37.5% from 200 mAh gram to 125 mAh gram. It's like a roller coaster. But the experimental battery capacity was only reduced by 12.5% from 200 milliampere hour gram to 175 milliampere hour gram. It still maintains good capacity retention rate and thermal stability. RA2210 this electrolyte high temperature auxiliary make the battery more durable and safer, stable performance at room temperature. It also performs well at high temperatures.